The day Bison graced your village was the most important day of your life. But for me, it was Tuesday. 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 Welcome to the Rated G for Gamers podcast, episode 351. Before we start the show, we want to thank all of our wonderful fans who have supported us. And if you want to show support for the Rated G Network, you can find us on Patreon at patreon.com slash Rated G for Gamers. You can also find us on YouTube, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Rated G for Gamers. And finally, please rate and review us on iTunes and Spotify. We appreciate all the love. I'm your host, Dave Rotino, and this is my co-host, Dan McShamus Robinson. Technically, technically, you gotta say Finley, because that is, that is, I'm, I'm part of the Finley clan. I was That's sure. my name. That, that, that literally is, that literally is part of my right. family name, Finley. You got some Irish heritage. That is, that I is do, fantastic. I do. Well, mm-hmm. uh, listen, according, according to uh, Ancestry.com, I got like 15% Irish and like 10% Scottish. So okay. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm in. I'm in, baby. Okay. I'm in. Oh, that's awesome. I'm in the. That's awesome. I'm in the club. That's yeah. awesome. I am. Uh, cool. I am. I am Irish by proxy because my dad loves the holiday. It it very well could be his favorite holiday. Oh, he, he's he's all in on the music and the corned beef and the Irish soda bread and he, he, wait, he, wait, wait, wait. he marches in the parade like this. This, wait, this man wait, is. Wait. Man is that, wait, 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 wait. If that's the case, I guess I'm Puerto Rican. My my dad loved like. <laughs> He loved, he loved Spanish food. He loved plantains. There you go. He loved going to Puerto Rico. There you go. You know, roast pork. Uh-huh. For Neil, like I'm uh-huh. Puerto Rican then. If that's the I'm mm-hmm. Puerto Rican by proxy mm-hmm. then. Mm-hmm. The you, got, you got always had always had always had plantains available, right? Puerto well, Rican by proxy. Puerto Rican. I'm Puerto Rican. I'm uh-huh. Puerto Rican by proxy. There we go. <laughs> the, the double the double. <laughs> You I, wait, wait, what? The go. Irish by proxy? Oh, wait, aren't you like Italian? Irish by proxy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Italian, French, German. Polish and uh, Czechoslovakian. We uh, we we cover a large swath of Europe. My family. It's mostly Italian, okay. though. Uh, I so, think mostly Italian and Czech, uh, but the other stuff so, is mixed in too. You know, it's all a big melting pot in my family. I'm so. like mostly like Nigerian. Okay. Right, apparently, okay. Uh, Nigerian, uh, Irish, Scottish, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, from Denmark. Okay. Okay. I'm, I'm partially from Denmark, uh, Western European, and I got a little bit of Central American in there. Uh, I'm actually nice. part Central American, apparently. Yes. Nice. Well, there you go. There you go. Welcome okay. to the Heritage Podcast with Dan and Dave. <laughs> we're getting into it now. Uh, yeah, you know, go. we're talking about this a little bit. Uh, St. Patty's Day has come and gone. Uh, that that happened uh, last last uh, Friday. Um, I hope. I I don't. I don't know if you celebrate so much, but I, I had a little thing at my place, which 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 went over pretty well. And I cooked the corned beef. It was cooking all day. It's beautiful. I made some Irish soda bread for the first time. Came out great. I was, I was a little worried. Felt like it was a little too tough, but it's apparently supposed to be a little hard. Uh, but it came out great. You know, you throw some butter on there. You melt it a little bit. Ooh. Is good. Well, listen, uh, uh, if, if that's the case, I celebrate, you know, St. Patrick's Day before we do the show. Every time we do the show, ah, you have a little bit in the cup. There we go. I, I, there, I we go. there we go. I, have a, I understand. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. I mean, look, you know, we have an ongoing thing here. What's in the Spider-Man cup? That's right. right. What's in the cup? What's in the cup? Let us know on let, let us know on Twitter. What's in Dan's cup? Hold it up. Hold it up. You got it. You got it. You got it there with you. No, I finished it before. Oh, before I see. Oh, that's I why, see. Okay. That's why I, no, no. Whenever I have a little bit left, that's why I drink it during the show. <laughs> well, we'll we'll revise the question. What was in Dan's cup? Because he did, he did, oh. he did have a little bit, a little something. I like did that. have something different than I did the last episode. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so uh, I just I want to see. I want oh, to say. Ahead. I'm just saying we in the fitties, right? This is we, the we in the fitties. I want to. I want to hear you say like you know, this is episode three fifty one. Three fifty one. Right? Opportunity. Okay. Okay. So next, next episode. Next, well, next I mean, episode. last episode was 350. I mean, you know, that was yeah, the, yeah, yeah. the quintessential one. Okay, okay. So, so the next episode, next episode, we, you know, there, there, there we go. 352. There we go. So, we go. Um, as you know, or maybe not, if you listen to the last episode, you know that we, uh, we had a little bit of a hiccup, had to do a re-record on that. But, um, you know, you guys. Hey, this it. is the fourth time we're recording this segment. Shh. Yeah, didn't you know? <laughs> 
<laughs> quiet, quiet. Um, and we we um we 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 had some we had some good talk on there, and we uh, we got into it a little bit, got into it a little bit. Now, uh, there's there's an ongoing question out there about um video games and should all video games have an easy mode me and dad get into it a little bit again dance dance is that all games should have an easy mode they should be accessible to everyone and whatnot and it's, or, it's a, and in a hard mode in a hard mode i'm, I'm not sure, saying you know sure. the, it's you, a if it's a hard game it should have an easy mode if sure. it's an easy game it should have a hard mode sure sure for people it, who want to challenge but guess what there's always a hard mode for people well, who want to challenge okay but never it, an easy mode and it's a it's a it's a fair point to make, and and it's one you can certainly argue. And Dan will take it to his grave that there should be an easy mode. Um, but uh, I don't know if you saw the drama that was going on, the mini drama that was going on Twitter, because somebody somebody posted uh, a picture from the new Resident Evil remake, and it was a spicy take. But he took a picture of the uh, the barrels, uh, the breakable barrels in the game. And he said, this has to stop because it was a big painted yellow X over them. Right. And it was to let you know that, hey, this is interactable or probably breakable or whatever. It gives you a hint to say, hey, you can interact with this most likely. And there's probably something inside. And then once you do it the first time and you know that that's the signifier. And then when you go around to the different areas and houses and whatnot, you can see, oh, here's a thing. And it's got the yellow thing on it. I'm going to go up and stab it. Right. And I'm going to get something out of it, most likely. And uh, like every he, game ever made. Well, I mean, in the last like 20 years or whatever, like game hints like that yes. have been around for sure, for sure. And and but he was like, well, it, it, I think the argument this this guy was trying to make is that it was taking him out of the game and it was a little it was too obvious and we didn't need it and whatnot. And and I kind of like I, I kind of like clap back and I said, I said, it's 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 about accessibility in the same way that you're arguing for easy mode. I think I think it's it's good to have these signifiers in video games for maybe people that don't play games on the regular or maybe have uh, not so great vision. Right. Maybe they're partially blind yeah. or whatever it is. Like that's why we have things like uh, uh, all the different colorblind modes. Right. There's like three sure. or four different ones. You look at a Naughty Dog game. It's got a whole damn tab for accessibility. I don't use any of that stuff. I, I could care less, but it's great that it's in the game. And there's people that really accessibility of somebody who beat uh, the Last of Us Part Two, uh, and they were blind, and they did it thanks to all the accessibility features that were in that particular well, let, game. Preface legally blind. Not I mean, yes, blind. but I mean, it, 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 it was a two different distinctions. Uh, well, that. sure, but I mean, it, it, was, it, it was a two different big impairment. But there was enough like audio right. cues and whatever else in the game, which is which is like amazing, uh -huh. right? And like. I get that when you see something jarring, like that's like video gamey, like it takes you out of that world. But I mean, like you look at Call of Duty, what you got to do is like sit behind a waist high wall, wait two seconds and your health comes back. Like there's no realism there. Right. When you fire bullets, they have no drop off. Right. It's all in the name of gameplay. Right. You got to make some yeah. concessions for it. Oh. Now. He had walked back that statement a little bit. Everyone kind of got heated over it, and he was like, "Hey, okay, let's let's go ahead and take a temperature down." He kind of walked it back a little bit, um, but uh, yeah, I mean, it, you know, it got me it got me a little tight, and I was thinking about your point, and it's like, well, that's that's an accessibility thing to make it easier for people okay. to play the game. So, okay, I just want to say, you know, I love it when you say the video gamey thing, you know, because you know, you're going around shooting zombies like that's. Like you know, the realism in that well, right there. That but, too, but, right? But, None of these yeah, games are okay. real, yeah. right? Yeah, but 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 okay. I'm just saying. I'm just yeah. saying. Yeah, I am. I don't know this for sure because <laughs> I don't have the game, mm -hmm. or do or do I? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure there's probably a way to go in the settings and turn that off in Resident Evil 4 remake, right? Like they. Or, or they could patch that in. But I'm sure that, I mean, they always have ways where you could turn things off, right? Well, I mean, for sure. You got to you gotta jump through hoops. It's not like, you know, easily, well, <clears throat> you know, no pun intended, easily accessible. Uh, <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> but but you could, you could go in and turn that. It's, oh, probably, sure. it's probably a way to go in and turn that well, off. Well, Bioshock, I remember the first Bioshock, you could turn off like the, like the glow or the shine around objects you can interact with. 
right? Yeah. But it was on by default, and you could just turn it off, and then it would make it a little bit more realistic. So they have that option. They may have that in the full version. I don't know if it's in the demo per se, but yeah, that would kind of be like the best of both worlds, right? And then everybody's happy. Everybody gets what they want, and you can customize the game the way you want to play it. If you want to make it more hard, you can do that, right? So, I mean, I, I 100% stand behind that. Yeah. I just sure. want to know if this guy played Uncharted, where, you know, they actually had the, <laughs> the bright yellow strip for that's where you can climb the Oh, yeah. Climb yeah, the mountain, yeah. Right, right. right? So it's, turn that off, and you have no idea where you got to climb. Right, exactly. <laughs> just, and then you look at this mountain, and you're like, can I climb that? I don't, I don't, know. Like, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. We can we can keep going. All right, let's know, get the show on the road. Let's all get the right. show on the road. Mm -hmm, we have an mm -hmm. awesome show this week. Mm -hmm. uh, coming up, we're going to talk about Sony's new Superman game that's in development. That's oh. according to Microsoft lawyers. Okay, which is totally hilarious. Stay uh, stay tuned for that. That's a decent and, property, and, though. They do they do Marvel property. games. I don't know. Okay. Well, I don't think they have an exclusivity with Marvel. At, well, at, at, no, at all. maybe not, but, but I just assume no. if you're working on one, you'd be working on more no. properties. But, okay. And then, and then we're going to say our final rest in peace to the Wii U and 3DS, because by the time we get from PAX, it's going to be shut down. It's going to be gone. It's going to be over. It's going to be over completely. But before we get into <laughs> any of that, let's begin the show with us going to PAX, because... Mm -hmm. We are going to PAX East 2023 for the first time together That's since right. 2020. That's right. That's this right. is awesome. I'm, I'm super happy this was a tradition. This is, you know, this is our eighth time or seventh time going together. Uh, we've been going, well, me and you have been going since 2016. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I think maybe the, it's probably the sixth time because you didn't go to 2021 because there was none. We didn't go to 2021 and you missed last year. So I think this would be our sixth outing. Uh, if the yeah. math is correct, um, okay. but still, I mean, and I remember. I I, I just want to go ahead and say I I remember because because I went to most of them since the first Pax East of 2010, when they had it in the Heinz Arena, which was like a quarter of the size and filled to the brim. And then they announced that the closing ceremony, they're like, yeah, next year we're going to be in this brand new BCEC that's, that's uh, <laughs> opening up next year. And I said, thank God, thank God, because it needed it. And then next year, like they had so much more room. It was great. Um, but I, I, I remember the first year that you went, I tried to like prep you for it. I'm like, look, this, this thing is big. It's you like an airplane you hanger. Can't, you, can't, you can't, you can't prep. You can There's never tons of games. I tried to it. give you the schedule and the whatever. And you just like, I, I, I just, I, and, and even I with all that, in, you went in and you're like, oh my go God, in. sensory overload. Uh huh. Yeah. It's a lot. Yeah. It's a lot. Um, so my friend, my friend, uh, uh, my friend Jay is going this year. He, he, he streams on, uh, he streams on Twitch. Uh, me and him used to work together back in the day and I was like oh you should like totally come and he is in the position that you're in or that you were in in, in 2016 like brand new and green and I'm trying to give him all the all the hints that me and you learned over time right and and just like look take a look at the schedule map he, out what you think you want to see no he's not ready he's not ready he's, he's definitely not ready, not ready. He, just, uh -uh. he just needs to come and see it for himself yep Right. Is he coming all four days or is he is he coming? He'll be there all four days. days. Yep. Yeah. Okay. He'll be there all, all four right. days. A friend of his is going right. too, so they're gonna be doing their You thing. know what you know what makes it easy? That 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 first day being on Thursday instead of Friday. Yes. Right? That first yes. day makes it a lot easier because it's mm -hmm. not it's not gonna be that many more that that not that many people gonna be gonna be there on Thursday. Thursday it's not gonna be is as crowded. Day. Yeah, yeah. It will be crowded, but it won't be as crowded. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. Saturday so is the worst. Like, Everyone comes on Saturday. Saturday goes. Saturday is always the one that's sold out. Right. Yeah, it's always the, yeah, it's the, tough. Yeah. So he, it's tough. so he's lucky that he's lucky that he has like a Thursday, and mm -hmm. then like you know, about Sunday he'll be a pro, and then next oh, yeah. year he'll come. Oh yeah, Br friend of the show, best friend of mine, mm -hmm. uh, fighting game fan, yeah, yeah, enthusiastic Brian. I've I've mentioned Brian several times. Yeah, yeah. he I've told been me a few times before. Good dude. He, he told me he wants to come next year. Oh, so very nice, very nice. Yeah, let's make it happen. I think he would. I think he would have a great time there, for sure. If there's, there's any so fighting games there, if oh, there's any fighting will, games yeah, there, there always is. He's he's mm -hmm. he's, he, he's gonna be there. Mm -hmm. But mm -hmm. uh, you know you know what's not gonna be there, which mm -hmm. is gonna be a, is a bummer. Uh, Nintendo announced that you know the Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is skipping Pax East this yep. year. Yep, yep. I heard about that. I heard about that. No booth, sucks. no I wish, nothing. I wish, no nothing. Yeah. Nothing. Well, we should say this. 
Microsoft, Sony, and Nintendo, oh, all three will not be at PAX East. In, well, a big, in, the, in the same capacity, in the same capacity okay, they were. Because Nintendo is going to be there, but yeah, they're doing like that, a Nintendo versus booth, which I think is going to be a lot of head-to-head competition of games they already have out. And I think there's a Pokemon thing that they're doing too. But that's yeah, but for, not, they're not they're not there in the same. All three will not be there in the same capacity. That oh yeah, were. no, no. Sony doesn't have a booth, and the Microsoft doesn't years. have a booth. Yeah, yeah. So we get we get a lot of smaller booths up front, which is which is cool. So like the when you walk in, the left hand side won't be the big Microsoft or Sony booth. Um, so we get we get a lot more variety, but but the whole show floor is filled up, which is cool. Um, sad that they won't be there, but you know may, maybe maybe like next year they'll make a they'll make a concerted effort to come back. About that, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. I don't you know. You don't. You don't that. think they're gonna do it? No, I don't. I think they're making a concerted effort not to pay. I'm not saying uh, you know E3 is millions of dollars. It's obviously, PAX isn't millions of dollars. But no. I don't think. I think they want to do their own thing, right? I don't think uh, they sh- PAX East. I think is perfect for like a Sony, right? Like I think mm-hmm. Sony more more than anybody else. You know, since it's not going to be at E3, you're not going to be have hand you know hands on you know at the show floor with whatever games they, they have coming out. Each, right. you know, I think PAX would be perfect for them. But I think they, they're... they I'm not saying they're going to have their own event, mm-hmm. but, like, Gamescom, Tokyo Game Show, more so, you know, like mm-hmm. Paris, you know, the, the, the show that's in Paris that week in, in Europe, I think they, they would do those. They, they're they're going to skip E3 and skip, like, sort of, like, the mid-tier, like, PAX East or PAX, any of the PAX events. I think they're going to yeah. skip those. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to be the same. I I'd love to see them come back, but I mean, certainly, certainly the pandemic, the zombie apocalypse, certainly shook stuff up, and it changed everybody's strategies with everything across the board. You know, Correct. everything, everything changed with that, from game development to uh, presentations to whatever. You know, like the, the landscape is very different than it was three years ago. So, but right. it's still going to be a good time. You know, I'm looking forward to it. So, Dave. We're going to do this a little bit early. A little bit early. Okay. Mm-hmm. There are notable games coming out in April. Oh, I yeah. know this. I know this. This isn't the last show in March. Mm-hmm. However, the next show is probably going to be all about PAX East. And I don't want to skip this because April, we got some good games coming out. For and sure. all the game release dates from what I'm, that I'm about to say come from the Game Informer list. So don't get mad at me if, if, if this game, particular game that I mentioned, uh, has the date change and I didn't catch it? Blame Game Informer because that's where I plagiarized okay. my list from. There you go. Okay. Yeah, you 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 used it for reference. <laughs> there we go. Uh, that's reference. the that's the appropriate way of saying I pilfered it. <laughs> um, so it's uh, the beginning of April. I start with Tron Identity. Mm-hmm. Uh, it's coming out on the Switch. I think this was at the Nintendo Direct, right? It was. was yeah, yeah, the yeah. yeah, it's coming out on the Switch and PC April 11th. Mm-hmm. You were you Ghost were. Twi- you were pretty mediocre to don't care about this one, I think, and I'm mediocre to like maybe I'll check it out. No, I'll, I feel ch- like... I'll definitely check it out if, mm-hmm. if 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 there's like you know an actual hard copy release. If this is a digital only game, I'm probably oh, check it out. I, I thought you were gonna say if there was a demo, but you're like, no, I'll, I'll pay the money as long as I get plastic. Demo, it. if it's a demo, I'll definitely play it. <laughs> okay, sure, sure, sure. So, uh, finally, Ghostwire Tokyo loses. PlayStation exclusivity mm-hmm. coming in April 12th. It mm-hmm. will be on Games Pass. I don't yep. know if it's going to get a physical release for Xbox, but it's going to come on Games Pass. Uh, a bunch of extra stuff. Sure. Uh, which is sure. cool. And, and to be fair, that all that extra stuff is coming to PlayStation 2. Right? I mean, to both uh, yeah, thankfully. I mean, I, I don't necessarily like the gated content situation, but um, this is this well, is a, a Tango Game Works, game. right? It is. It is technically now because Bethesda bought Tango Gameworks and then Microsoft bought Bethesda. Tango Gameworks, also known for Hi-Fi Rush, which came out earlier this year. They stealth dropped it. Uh, Great game. That is exclusive. Uh, And now we get now we get the port of Ghostwire. So I still have yet to play this, Um, but I heard it was now you have now you have the opportunity. I heard it was very mediocre. Uh, I would I mean, it's definitely you. It's kind of hard when you have. Dave, your, your 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 scale is only on a four point scale. You need to add a fifth point in here well, somewhere. Then it's, it, then it just turns into a regular rating scale. <laughs> well, that's oh, it's eh, Dave on a, on the low end. That's that's uh, well, that's scale. that's like two out of four. That's 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 pretty not great. Well, the game, is, but the game is really a three. 
So you don't have a three. You got that five, would be four, an iron. Two, that would, no, that would be an iron. Like it, it's got it's got oh. some things that are good about it. There's obviously better versions of the game of that type of game that's that's uh, out there. But I would Dave. it's worth playing. Dave, if you need you something to have, play and you picked it Dave, up, you wouldn't you be upset. You don't with have it. a Dave. You don't have a three. Okay, and a high end is a four. No, it's a four. Okay, all scale. right. You know what? You know what? You know what? You don't. You don't have four. On your scale, I do. Because Fantastic is five. No, Fantastic it's just, would be five. Fantastic is just the best rating. Fan- Fantastic is the best game of all time. It's Tetris. Yeah. It's Breath of the Wild. It's Super Mario Brothers Three. Five. They're it's fantastic five. video games. So this would be a three. This, this this game would be a three. I would say add on a high end if you're going to count it that way. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. All you right. just don't have a four. I'm sorry. You just I, don't have okay. a four. Uh, coming out two days later, April 14th, Mega Man Battle Network Legacy Collection. Coming out mm-hmm. PS4, Switch, and PC. No Xbox, which is weirdly enough. Again, if I'm wrong about this, blame Game Informer, because that's, that's where I took this from the list. It'll eventually uh, come to Xbox. It has to. All the other Mega Man collections came to Xbox eventually. Yeah. So, yeah. Uh, well, speaking of Xbox, Microsoft, uh, Microsoft, Minecraft Legends coming out on PS5, Xbox Series X, S, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, PC, April 18th. No Stadia. I just had to say that because it's coming out everywhere. It's coming out every, everything. Now, this is a game that would have come out on Stadia for sure, right? Minecraft is not everything. Minecraft's like Skyrim. It would have came out. It would. It definitely would have came out on Stadia. Uh, Exclusive to PS5, the DLC that everybody's been waiting for, Horizon Forbidden West Burning Shores, PS5, April 19th. Oh, yeah. Definitely want to check. I I, I kind of want to check that out. I love that game. Uh, definitely the underrated game of 2022. Uh, then we got Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus in Butterfly, and that's coming out I'm, on PS5. I, Xbox I have... Series X, PS4, Xbox One, Switch, no PC. I think this game is going to come out on PC. No, it's got to be on the Steam store and whatnot. But yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm surprised you put 20th. this in the mix. Like, there are... I like I like Coffee Talk, the first one, right? Okay. Like, I, I, okay. It's, it's on Games Pass. I did download it, right? Okay. We did play it at PAX one, one of those years, and I did download it from Games Pass. And I, I, I played it off and on, right? It's an interesting style of game, right? You got to, like, sort of, during the conversation, sort of, yes... So, you know, well, based drink, on based, based on, on what the, the so the you, conversation you, is, yeah. So you end up dealing with all the customers that come in, and they start talking about their life and their stories, and you know they'll they'll drop hints to like you need you know of what they would want to drink, and then you like can like put all the stuff together, and depending on how good of a drink you make, I think that opens up different story options. Um, it's 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 interesting. Like I I like that aspect. If there was like some other like I don't want to say like combat mechanic or something or whatever like it's it's I like the idea of that but if there was other stuff to it too I would probably be more inclined to play it but it's 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 like very very uh, narrative driven so yeah I don't know I would love and this is, you know this is strictly from an old school gamer perspective yeah, I would yeah. love sort of to see them downgrade this and make this put this type of game on an NES. Oh, they totally could. could. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, totally could put it on NES. Mm-hmm. This would be like an NES mm-hmm. game. Uh, it it wouldn't right. be that. Wouldn't be the first time that they've done that. They they have definitely done things like that. Uh, D makes they call them. Yeah. Uh, it comes out April twentieth. Mm-hmm. Uh, coming out April twenty first. Talking about you know coming out on NES. This is coming to the Switch exclusive to the Switch, and that's Advance Wars one and two reboot camp. Yep. Uh, it's it pretty much was delayed during you know because of the war that's going on right now right in russia and yes. in ukraine yes. so they delayed it a year it's coming out to a little f- mark i don't want to say fanfare because fans of the original oh game fans fans definitely, definitely want this yeah, definitely yeah. want this game but it's coming out with not as much marketing as it would have if there wasn't a war Asia, yeah, right? yeah. Right? It's it's hard. Uh, yeah, when you have sensitive subject matter. Asia, sorry. Yeah. yeah, which is sensitive because of current events. Yeah, it's 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 hard to really make a big push on there. But uh, I'm happy this is coming out. I mean, it's it's all cartoony violence and whatnot, but you still got to be sensitive to the situation. So I get that. Uh, but these games are a little bit pricey. They were uh, well, one and two were on the Game Boy Advance. Uh, they are hard to get. Um, and they haven't re- re-released them at all until now, so I'll get to play them. Uh, definitely a day one pickup for me. Probably gonna wait. This gonna okay. discount for me. Oh well, uh, it's, it's, it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna be a while before that Nintendo discount happens. 
Uh, discount, well, definitely a day one pickup for me. Dead Island 2, finally. Oh, right? I remember watching... Jesus. I remember, I think it was 2015, E3 2015, Sony, you know, it was Sony's... Uh, it was on the Sony stage, and we mm-hmm. saw it, and then we didn't hear anything about it yep. until like last year or two years ago. So Dead Island Two coming out, PS Five, PS Four, Xbox One, Xbox Series X, uh, PC, and it was supposed to come out on Stadia. Oh no! Well, not anymore. <laughs> but not anymore. April twenty first. Wow. Yeah, I I I got burned by the first one. They put that awesome trailer out, and the game was nothing like that. It was just all all cinematics and no substance. Game was trash, had a lot of bugs, and then they made Riptide, also not great. I I I don't want to say that I wish this game. I want it to be good, but I'm very. Sounds you know, like you don't. Sounds like I've you're been a burned slutty. once, Dan. All right, I'm 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 cautious about dipping my foot back in the pool. All right. That's all. Okay, that's all. Well, all right. Then the game that we're both going to see at PAX. Right? That's right. Tax East coming that's out April twenty right. fifth, and that's mm-hmm. straight lights, and mm-hmm. it's pretty much coming out on everything. Oh, you know, PlayStation four, five, Series Xbox Series X, S one, Switch, and PC. Yeah, yeah, 25th. yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, we just I I didn't hear about this until we were like, we were looking up some stuff for packs, and we saw that this was here, and we made it a point. This game looks great. Let's go ahead and see it. I don't know. I don't yeah, know I if was, we saw I was it. Definitely. Yeah. No, I didn't see it beforehand. But okay. I definitely, when I saw it, I was like. We got to we got to check this out. We, yeah. we need an appointment to see this game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks so good. Hopefully, it leaves. It, hopefully, it lives up to its, you know the expectations that I have in my head for it. Yeah. So definitely look forward to uh, more coverage uh, of Straight Lights. Uh, I guess maybe next episode, right? And probably do a write up on the website could, about it. Could, so could could be, could be the the game of PAX for us, right? Maybe. Could be our game of PAX. Could yeah, be, it's true. Could be in a running. That's true. Uh, also, DLC. Coming out April 28th, and that's Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak expansion, right? Coming out PS5, PS4, Xbox One, Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know, people have been looking forward to that. But the game that I'm looking forward to <laughs> the same damn day, April 28th, mm-hmm. that is Star Wars Jedi Survivor, only current gen, PS5, Series, Series X, S, and PC not coming out on previous gen. So we're, we're, we're hitting that mark. We're hitting that mark, right? I think this year could be the last year where we get sort of cross-gen big games. The indie games will still get cross-gen, right? Because they're, they're easier out. to program for, for sure, yeah. Easier they don't need the pro- horsepower. Yeah, yeah I mean, the, it, it all, there's always the turning of the tide, you know? I think it took a little bit longer than usual to do. Um, well, I mean, you know, people couldn't get into current gen. <laughs> well, right, right. Yeah, we're coming up on, uh, yeah. geez, we're coming up on almost two and a half years and we're still getting cross-gen titles, right? Almost all of these titles are cross-gen, right? Um, which much. is which is crazy, which is which is great too, but I mean, it does make it a lot harder because you got to build for the lowest common denominator, which would be the Xbox beta machine or the original PS4. Um, which is hard to do because that's a console from 2013, right? Or those are consoles from 2013, and they don't really have the chutzpah that even the revisions or the Series S, uh, not the Series X, the uh, the Xbox One X, right? Or even the Series S, you know? You got to build for Series all these S, different things. Series S is going to be obsolete in like two years. I mean, yeah. maybe, yeah, maybe. All right, Dave. Mm-hmm. As we always try to start the show, but epically fail. What have you been playing? Oh, so I don't know if you know, Dan, but the uh, the, acts. the Halo Infinite Season 3 uh, Echoes Within uh, multiplayer update came out. That came out with uh, a couple new maps, uh, one arena style map, one big team battle open map called Oasis, which is awesome. There's a new weapon, which is great. Uh, single shot fire um, rifle, which is really cool. Okay. And a brand new a brand new item, uh, which is the, uh, the shroud, which you can basically put it down and you can't see through it, but you can move through it. So it's not a shield, but it's a vision blocker. Yeah. For everybody involved, so it's um, it's kind of interesting. Uh, the new updates are cool. Came with a bunch of new armor sets, 
uh, new like uh, base armors, right? They give you like two new base mm-hmm. armors or three new base armors. There's a bunch of new progression stuff you can go through. So uh, it's good. Like Halo's starting to like, you know, Halo's really starting to come together. Two and a half years after it came out. Or one and a half years or whatever. Yeah, it came out at the end of 2020. Well, that's how that works, man. You didn't know that? No, no. Halo Infinite was a 2021 game. Remember, it got delayed. Oh, it did get delayed. Okay, so like a year and a little bit. Yeah, like like almost two years. It got delayed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, Stuff that I'm not... I'm, I'm done with Halo Infinite. Yeah, so I'm pretty much. Well, you did, you did, the, you did the uh, single player, and then you're out. Yeah, yeah, I didn't even beat that yet. I should okay. go back and beat that, okay. and I may go back and beat that. Uh, I, I made it right there because I hated the open world part. I, I, I know that's you know that would made it different. Yeah, that was the I innovative just, part. No, I just didn't like it. I kind of okay. wanted the the sort of you know I I, I kind of just wanted it to be sort of you know just let me know where to go, mm-hmm. let me know how to do it. You want the more structured missions. Yeah, yeah. I wanted the structured missions. I didn't want the open world. To me, that's not Halo in my view. I'm not, you know, so. It's different, yeah. All right. Games that I've been playing. Mm Mm-hmm. There's a game that's not on this list, Dave. Okay. And we haven't talked about the specific game. Okay. Because we didn't want any of the smoke that's on the internet. We didn't want the internet smoke at us at all. I mean, maybe you didn't know. I'm, I'm fine with talking about whatever. It's, no, it's no, cool. No. We can get into it. I'm not. I'm not even going to mention this game's name. I'm oh just going to say. I'm just oh going to say. God. I'm playing. I'm playing a magical game. Okay, it's yeah. about magic. Okay, and it's it's one of the best magical games I've ever played. Do you? Do you, do you? Is is it a game that is a game that you have to walk through a platform nine and three quarters to get to? <laughs> is it? Is it? Is it named after an animal? Uh, is the castle named after an animal? Uh, you know, okay, just, I, I understand. I I'm understand. Dan doesn't want to say. I, it's the best magical game I've ever played in my life. Uh, okay. The best game about I magic. Know, I, I don't know if that's true. I think, you need to, I think you need to reevaluate that. Are you sure? It's the best game I've played. That's okay. about magic. Okay. It's but I'm going to it's really cool, good. Listen, listen. It is. You know, it all could of that drama is bad. It, it could be a contender for game of the year because it's definitely a contender for game of the half year. Not sure. No, I'll tell you sure. that right now. Okay. Okay. I hear good things. Right. I haven't picked it up yet for no other reason than I just haven't picked it up yet. So I'm not I, going to if you ask it. me, If you ask me, do I recommend it? Hell yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hell yeah. Because it's like you're really in school learning magic. And then you go around and the story is engaging. The style, like I... I play games for story and I love the mechanics and especially mm-hmm. if you if it gets a little too hard, which I know David's gonna make it like super hard and he's gonna go through all these magical battles. Sure. I mean, right? you know, and I like school, playing a hard mode. Out of all the games that we got mm-hmm. right over the years. I mean the first game I mean the first movie we had a game that was ported to the PS one. That's right. right. Like, that I, was two thousand one. Yeah. I mean they they have games on the Game Boy Color. Sure. Sure, and they're all not great. They're all not they're great. All, but this one, this one really okay. is. This okay. one's yeah. This, this one is it. this. This one's the best one. It's okay. Awesome. Okay. Right. So I would say I definitely recommend it. Buy it, play it, and don't talk about it because you'll get excoriated oh, on Jesus. the internet. You can have a conversation That's around that. I don't think. I don't Apparently think we serious. can't. Apparently the internet says no conversation should be uh, had. The internet. The internet gets crazy over everything for sure. But I think you I need know. to be able to talk about things. In an open environment, right? Yeah. So, well, you know what? You know what? I wish I had an actual magic wand so I could do a spell so we could talk about it freely. We without, just did. You know, we just did. <laughs> we we danced around it, but yeah. well, maybe maybe we'll we'll talk about it. We we we'll, okay. Maybe 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 we'll actually talk about it in you know future episodes. Okay. So, but I've been playing Bayonetta Origins, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. I gotta say, I gotta say. When we had for spoken and I saw it for spoken, I was like, "Yeah, I'm super excited about this game. I really want to play this game." And then the demo came out, and I was like, "I really don't know if I want to play this game <laughs> because the demo wasn't great. Uh-huh. It was it was good. It was good. Again, it's 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 you have all these ingredients and they just don't come together. Mm-hmm. Again, the quote Shannon Sharp without saying the curse word. I like chicken and I like chocolate. They don't go together. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, they just don't." They chicken don't, they chicken don't really and waffles, it. you know, you throw some uh, hot maple syrup I don't, on there, I mean. Yeah, well, it's that's close. not chocolate. How about, how about this? How about, how, about, how about chicken, waffles, and some chocolate sauce on it? I don't think that goes I, together. I, I could be down for that. 
Come on no, now. I'm Throw a little ice cream on there too. Come on now. Okay. Come All on. right. Then you know what? You know what? All right. For spoken, the game of the year. Ready Jesus. <laughs> no, no, definitely not. I hear what you're saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just didn't, oh. you know. Had elements, well, but was, they didn't they didn't come together. Yeah, yeah. So when I when I heard about Bayonetta Origins mm-hmm. and sort of like a twin stick and you 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 know, this stick controls one character and this stick controls the other. And it sort of looked like Okami, right? It's like a, a, a twin stick Okami game, right, essentially. Right, right, right. I was kind of like, I don't know about this. I don't know how that's going to work. And then the demo came out. And this is one of those things where the <laughs> demo actually helped it. Because I said, I don't know if I want to buy this day one. Mm-hmm. I want to see the reviews just mm-hmm. because of the the gameplay, the controls. But the demo came out and I played it. And I was like, oh, it's not that bad. Okay, now I get it. Now I understand it. Mm-hmm. So I bought it day one, got it, played it, and playing it. It is awesome definitely all right. all right it's a game i'm taking the packs with me uh hopefully I, maybe i can beat it over the trip now yeah, from downtime is it better than one two and three any of them it is different than one <clears throat> two and three it is, okay. it is a completely different style well of game. right no no i know i know but i mean like just as a whole this says the the game in general is it a better game or you can't quite say no no I, again there's just it's like it's like saying, you know, is is fin- the original Final Fantasy better than Super Mario Brothers three? I mean, you can easily you know. say, you can easily say if you if you like one of. I, mean, I know, you, well, I know you. I mean, you can like one and the other, but it's like it's it, you wouldn't call it a better game because it's a different game, right? It's not the same exact game where you could compare and co- sort of compare more and say, yeah, this game is better than this game. You're saying that you know? every top one hundred list is wrong. Is, is that what is you're saying? Tetris, is Tetris better than any any of them? Any Super Mario game? Tetris like, is, is Tetris objectively the best game of all time. It is. It is. It's okay. infinitely right. playable. Yeah. Even yeah. to this day, you can rock out a Game so Boy and play that game. So, uh, this game it, is better. So Tetris is better than Super Mario Brothers Three. Is what you're telling? It's better than Super Mario Brothers World too. Yeah. No. It's it's no. It's, 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 it's objectively no the best game of all time. No it is, way. Though. It, no is. Way. it is. No way. No. It is. No. It's not. No, it is no way. No, way. it is. It has infinite no replayability. It has tight controls. It has OK graphics, mm-hmm. but they're good no enough. Way in and it hell. has amazing. It has amazing you soundtrack. You can convince you can if we went to court, no way in hell you could convince a jury of gamers that Tetris is better, a better game. Well, you're saying you can't even compare them. Mario Brothers 3. Which, because you can't compare the two different style of games. Which which means two, which means then games. when IGN did their top one hundred and they put Super Mario World above Super Mario Brothers three, they were wrong because you apparently I can't you do top one hundred list and compare games of different do it. genres. So it I it, it, do it it doesn't I count. Knew you were do that. Well that's no, what you're saying. I, that's what you're saying. No, no. You no, can I, easily I, compare I different put, games. No, now now genre, now I can't compare you can now, now, now. You you can't say the original band at a game. You sure. can't no. say Final Fantasy is a better football game than John Madden football because it's not a football game. But you can you can look at the game in its totality, right? You know, and and say, okay, yeah. how 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 is this game as a whole? The graphics, the the sound, the fun factor, game game control, all these different things that that you know that what you they can know measure. What? They know it. Bayonetta Origins. Is not only the best Bayonetta game. No, you're it's just better that than now. anything. It's better than anything that was on the NES. <laughs> it's better. This is this is infinitely more playable than uh, Super Mario Brothers Three. It, this is a better game than Super Mario like, Brothers Three. Like, Completely better. I, your Completely argument stands better. if you're if you're comparing the best football game. Then you got to look at football games. And if you want to break it down further and say simulation versus arcade, and then you kick out like NFL Blitz and all of that stuff. Sure, well, I'm I'm with you. Well, yeah. That's what we're saying here. This isn't a Bayonetta game, so I can't. Comp- I'm not going to compare it to the other Bayonetta games. This is a totally different genre of game than the other Bayonetta games. So I'm well, not I mean, which like, is the ba- you said which is the better Bayonetta game, which is like saying which is the best football game. This well, is okay, the well then, game. then this then, is totally different. Then that's what you asked me, though. But then, that's what you. No, asked I was me. just asking. I was just asking in general which of these games are better. <laughs> I mean, you obviously, said, which is the better Bayonetta game. Well, because we're talking like about saying, Bayonetta, but you can you like can still saying, like one more than the other, game. though. Which one do you like, like better? Is what I'm saying. Which one do you like better? So there far? you go. That's obviously uh, what I was asking. <laughs> you said which is the better Bayonetta game? This well, I wasn't saying objectively, but you this could still like also Bayonetta make game. that comparison. But okay, go ahead. I, uh, I'll choose the best Bayonetta game. Period. Okay. 
Okay. Two is better. Okay. Two is the best. So nothing's going to be two. Okay. Nothing's going to... Well, I mean, listen, if four comes out... Oh, well, I, I mean, I mean, for the moment, yeah, two, two is right. For the moment, two is okay. still the best. Okay. All right. I would, I would, I would rival that this Bayonet Origins, you know, the first one was good. I like the first one. Mm-hmm. I, I do, you know, the first one, I would, I would, I would say the third one, <sighs> if I had to rank, now you're going to say rank the four Bayonetta games. Yeah, that's what I'm I saying. I would say Bayon- Bayonetta 2. Okay. Bayonetta Mm, Bayonetta Origins or Bayonetta the Original. Three, I think, is at the bottom. Wow. Okay. Bottom, okay. To be honest. Okay. Is it? Which is, is it, a great game. It's a great game, but okay. I think it's at the bottom. Story, story, story wise, it's just all over the place, and is I it, didn't like how they implemented the different, you know, uh, demon characters. I oh, know some people love yeah. it. I didn't like it. Okay. Is it? Is it bad that I haven't played any of them? Is that a terrible? It's the yeah. worst. I, I you may have. But you, but you do own, but you do own Bayonetta. Oh, yeah, I got I got some copies okay. of Bayonetta kicking around. Uh, oh, I think terrible. I may have to do that for my uh, Saturday morning retro game. I just may have to put the, the PS- first Bayonetta on the Just block. don't play the PS3 version. Oh, it's trash. Yeah. Yeah. So, oh, I trust me, I know. It is wildly different. The 360 version, infinitely better. So, I've been also playing WWE 2K23. Nice. I mean, it took forever to download, so I haven't really gotten into it. I got... I did like a pre-match, right? Mm-hmm. And the controls seem tight. I, I okay. really dig the controls. Here's the thing that I'm not understanding. And this could be because I'm not the biggest 2K fan. I haven't religiously been playing it. I want some variety in my, in my 2K games because they seem sure. just to be the same thing over and over well, and over again. Yeah, that's a general right? complaint with sports games, uh, the annual sports game release. Yeah, and I think I, And I think I said this... Last year, when when the last game came out, I accidentally got it for the Xbox One. Mm-hmm. So it's like, trivia, what's the last brand new game, brand new release I got for the Xbox One? And that would be WWE 2K22, because oh, I accidentally boy. got it. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, and I think I, I think I remember saying this last year. When I get into mm-hmm. a game, and I, and, I, and I pick my characters, and I pick the game, pick the match, mm-hmm. I don't understand why the entrances just don't happen. I think I have to go in and like enable entrances. Oh, I'm. Like I bet there's a way to turn it off. Yeah, because I mean, like, well, turn it. No, you mean turn it on. Oh, well, maybe maybe you, turn it on. I figured they would be on I, by when default. I, but yeah. when I pick the match, when I, every every time I pick, I kept picking the match, it just it takes you right in. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Takes me right into See, the match. You know, I didn't get the entrances. It should be the other way around because you haven't seen them yet. I mean, I know they emulate what's on the SmackDown on on, on Friday and Raw and, and, and whatever else. But you want to see them in the game at least once or twice. And then when you get sick of them, then you go, OK, turn them off. I just want to get to the action. I want to beat somebody up with a damn table. Right. Um, it's weird that they did it that way. I I would I could only imagine that there's a setting to turn off the intros. Yeah. Turn on intros. Well, turn out. I get yeah. Turn them on in this case. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't know what I'm doing wrong, but it's mm-hmm. not turn. It's not automatically. And I shouldn't have to turn it on. It should automatically be on. I I agree. Let me know if I'm. I wrong. Agree. I agree. Let me know if I'm wrong. Let me know if I'm crazy because it okay. should just be on. Yeah. yeah, I'm with you. All right. On that note, mm-hmm. we're gonna turn. We're gonna turn this on. We're gonna take a break. We're gonna turn the break on. Okay. When we get back, we're getting to the top gaming news of last week. Yeah, let's do it. And we're back. All right, Dave, let's get into the top gaming news of last week. And let's start with this new exclusive superman game that's being developed by by sony i'm super excited oh let's go let's go and it's the superman game let's we go. always wanted it's superman 64 2 no yes no. yes sequel to the worst game of all time arguably Oof. no no uh you know it's a slow news week when uh this 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 is our lead this is our headline story uh, uh we well, know get into it we, yeah. we talked that well we talked about it for the last two weeks right uh you know, the Activision Blizzard acquisition by Microsoft and documents, you know, being sent and lawyers involved. And I'm guaranteeing you a lot of these lawyers aren't gamers. Mm-hmm. And the reason why I say that is because this is sort of a document by lawyers, Microsoft lawyers, you know, regarding, you know, the things that the exclusivity deals that Sony has. And 
they sort of mentioned that they have a Superman exclusive game in development. However, and they said it's coming out next, right? Like this is the next. The, I think it's one of the next big releases that that Sony has. Mm-hmm. But by all accounts, it seems to be a typo. It's he meant Spider Man, which 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 would make more sense. Which is their next big because they are working on a Spider Man game. Well, I was just gonna say like it's a DC property, and they're working on Spider Man, which is a Marvel property. Like you know, that could be a little bit uh, maybe a little well, conflict for- of interest, maybe. <laughs> No conflict because it's it's no ex- exclusivity as far as no. I mean I know, but I mean you know you know how these companies get with their properties. Um, yeah. You know you know you know it's actually funny because like there hasn't been a Superman game since Superman Returns. It's true. Oh yeah, yeah. Superman Returns. Superman Returns one. from like with Brandon Routh from like twenty two thousand six. Yeah, yeah, two thousand six. Yeah. Yeah, I like that movie. A lot of people hated it. This is the last Superman movie. You have one of the most iconic superheroes. You have a great video game character with amazing video game powers. Where is your super? They made a ton of great Batman games within the last, like, 10 years, right? All those Arkham games are amazing. Where's the Superman game? Why have they not optioned this, right? Who is not picking this up, right? Do you need to have a movie that's tied to it? I mean, is that is that the reason? Is, is all this uh, DCU shenanigans that are going on with Snyder and all that is that the reason they're not doing video games I I, I well I think I think the the last Superman game well the last game Superman was in I think was Injustice 2 sure right sure right so it's not a Superman game per se but it was the last game Superman sure was actually and that was great that was a great game Injustice 1 amazing Injustice 2 great made by oh. the same guys who did Mortal Kombat right it was produced by WB uh, Interactive right they can do this all, all they have to do is just say, hey, we need so, Studio X, make a Superman game, and it'd be great. Well, Insomniac <sighs> is making Insomniac is making Spider-Man, mm-hmm. right? And they're making Wolverine, if I'm not mistaken, as well, right? So, yeah. it's, again, it, it just so happens that they have Marvel properties that they're working on. It's not, I, I guarantee it's not no exclusivity deal in the sense of, you know, we're only going to work on Marvel properties. That, 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 that would kind of be ridiculous. I mean, they would have to have a deal with Warner Brothers. But we just got Midnight Suns, which is a, a a Marvel a Marvel property game that just came out in December, and another studio made that. And mm-hmm. Wolverine's on the cover, mm-hmm. right? So mm-hmm. I guarantee you, there's no exclusivity where they couldn't okay. make a, a property from DC, yeah. which I would love to see Insomniac make a Superman, take a crack at making a Superman game. That yeah. would be, you know, yeah, that would be awesome for sure. Um, I mean, unfortunately, sure. the next Superman, uh, the next game we're going to see Superman in is, uh, you know. Suicide Squad killed the Justice League. Oh yeah, and that's well. We'll see how that game. Indeed. We'll see how that game comes out, but it's shaping up to be a disaster. Yeah, Ugh. but I would love to see Insomniac do take a shot at a Superman game. And sure. and and I could tie it all together. Superman, just like Iron Man, would be a great VR game, right? Superman's it's flying in the sky. It would be yes. cool to be like you could be Superman in first person. He's got lasers, which he shoots out of his eyes. X-ray vision. He's got cold breath. He flies. He's faster than a speeding bullet. I mean, he's got superhuman strength. He's got great villains. You know what I would like? Come on. How about this? How about this? How about this? Come on. How about this? Superman VR game. PSVR 2. Right? And you got you got hit with a kryptonite bullet or something. Mm-hmm. So you don't have all your powers. Mm-hmm. So you're trying to heal. Right, okay. and that's how that's how you progress through the game, and you slowly get your powers back. I'm with you. So you learn so every sort of section. You learn how to master each power that you have. Right, okay. so you slowly gain it back, and at the end, whoever the big bad villain is, you're mm-hmm. gonna use everything that you learn to defeat him in VR. I I love it. I want it. Listen, who's who's listen, gonna make it? Just, Where is it? It just, it just, it just writes itself. Listen, I know you can have that for free. You can I have that know, for free. isn't it amazing? Isn't it? But like, it's, it's, yeah. Ugh. It's not hard to do a Superman game. Titus would tell you otherwise. I think they made Superman sixty four. Titus may tell you otherwise, but it's not that hard to make a Superman game. They've made games yeah, where yeah, people yeah. fly you just, around. You just got to, you just got to put a timer on the screen and see if Superman can fly through all these rings. In uh, the time. Yeah, that's that's just the ultimate that's game. You gotta do. Uh, that's all you got to do. Uh, uh, I remember I ran I rented that game, <laughs> and 
I was like, I, I literally thought the game was broken. Yeah. Oh, everyone did. <laughs> I thought the kid, I was like, I got, I got a, we rented a broken game. Dad, we rented a broken game. This is not working. I got it. And so we went back and we got another, I don't know what game we got instead, but I was like, I never played that again until right, I right. got, became a collector and bought it again. All so, right. Oh. Uh, all right. Well, let's shift sort of, I guess we're not going to really shift gears too far. Let's stick with the Microsoft buying Activision Blizzard, right? Mm -hmm. uh, looks like, by all accounts, that this deal may go through now in the EU, right? After you know there were talks that it's not going to go through, that they didn't want they didn't want this to go through. They were going to vote against it. But Microsoft, you know, they keep doing these ten year deals with different companies. They did it with Nintendo. They tried to do it with Sony, mm -hmm. and now they're doing it with this company called U uh, Ubitus. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. So if you don't know what this company is, because I know I damn sure didn't know what this mm -hmm. company was, they're a Taiwan, a Taiwanese-based cloud gaming company that they signed a ten-year deal with, mm -hmm. and they have a cloud technology that brings games to the Switch, like Control, Resident Evil Village, Guardians of the Galaxy, and Hitman, just to name a few. Yeah. Um, this does not mean that Call of Duty will be a cloud game because they did say they want this to be a native game working on nintendo consoles and i was not gonna just, not just not cloud streaming i was gonna ask you about that what you thought about that but if they're if they're specifically saying no and it makes sense uh i heard digital foundry talk about this too and they said that the latency would be a killer however well, much it is it would be bad because you're in a fast twitch a single player experience or multiplayer which would make it even worse right and there's people flying around that have zero ping and whatever they're going to be capping you left and right especially if it's a cross-platform thing and you can play on different uh, uh systems so it's uh, uh yeah yeah i don't well, know if they necessarily well, could do that but well i will say this mm -hmm. i will say this microsoft also said that every single game that comes out on xbox series x will work on an og beta machine xbox one and they sort of walked that back too well, I right. mean, you know, you to. knew that, they you knew that, to. you knew that wasn't going to be true. Nobody knew that. I, I mean, I didn't. I took them at their word. No. This is what they said. No. This is what. No, Phil you knew that was. You knew that was. You knew that was untenable. They did it for oh. like a year, year and a half, and then they're like, "We have to like." Well, wean no, off no, no. Of this. You know what they did? You know what they did? You know what they did? They said, "Okay, listen, cloud streaming. You can cloud stream it on a beta machine, and then it'll work." Right. Well, so they I made mean, it, they found a way around it. Maybe, like, maybe that's what they're going to so, do. Maybe that's what they're so, going to do. So, depending on what the, because I don't think this is going to affect. This is not going to affect the switch mm -hmm. in the next two years, right? I don't think because it's not going to come out this year, and they're not going to sort of try to port it next year if this deal goes through in the summertime because there's just not enough time. So this is something for 2025, and by then we may have a super switch, right. or I'm going to coin it. It's not going to be Super Switch. I want it to be Super Switch. My heart wants it to be Super Switch. Super Switch. Well, but wait. It may be. If it, it was a brand new Switch. console, you'd want it to be called the Super Switch, or you want a new model that's called the Super Switch. No, I wanted the brand new console Super Switch. Oh, that'd be that'd be. Confusing. I think I think I think they're going to keep the Switch name because it's so popular. I don't think really they're going to change Switch name. We're yeah. going to have a Wii and Wii U situation on our hands. I want them to keep. It's going to be bad. To, uh uh. You know NES, and now they have the Super NES, right? I mean, yeah, that worked. Why can't why can't the Super Switch work? Well, I, I mean, I, I guess I guess Switch Elite. I guess the Wii U partially came down to the marketing, right? Yeah, because no one, marketing everyone thought the Wii U was just the gamepad add-on. Marketing and function. <laughs> yeah, that's true. It was it was they bad. Didn't, it was they didn't bad. they didn't they didn't tout the power that the Wii U had because it was more power than the Wii. It was amazingly more better. powerful. Yeah. Yeah, they didn't tout that part. They just mm -hmm. touted the, you know, sort of the control, right? The the, the gamepad, and that was it. So mm -hmm. definitely marketing, 100% mm -hmm. marketing. I don't know what they could do next. It would have to be sort of the same thing, right? It would have to be a handheld that's a hybrid. It almost just likely more, continue to more be more powerful. That, I think. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. yeah. they're the only ones in that space besides mobile phones. They're the only ones that are, well, I guess there's now the I and Neo and the... Um, and uh, and uh, the Steam Deck from Valve, right? There's people that are putting out portable PCs, which you can play most of the library that's on the Switch already, plus stuff that's on the Steam library, and you can even hack it and do whatever else with could it. So you, I guess there's some other do, players now. Could you do like a Switch Elite? Because I think maybe maybe they'll go for that, like a Switch Elite. 
uh, or an elite, whatever the console, whatever they call it. I do not have detachable Joy Cons, right? Oh well, I mean the 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 mini doesn't, right? The switch the switch light doesn't. I know. I'm just saying. Could you have? Could the next because that's 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 a downgrade, right? Could you have a game system, the next one that's more powerful, more way more powerful than the Steam Deck, right? Because I think they have to go. I think that's the metric. Like it has to be on par with the Stream Deck or more or, or better. Uh, well, depending on depending depending on the next <clears throat> sort of gimmick, right? Like whatever they're gonna go for. Are you saying that the controllers are hindering the performance of the system in some way? Maybe to make it cheaper, you can make it not detachable, and right? then put more money into prices, the, the the RAM and the CPU and all that. Because price price matters, right? Like hundred percent price, price matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Nintendo historically always wants you know the price to be at a lower price point because they want it to be the barrier to entry, you know, not to be so big because a lot of their stuff is for kids, right? Like, yeah, they make a lot of games catered to children. Uh, well, I mean, I think... they are a toy company or started as a toy company, right? Well, yeah, it started as a playing card company and then a toy company. Well, yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah correct. <laughs> um, I think a big draw of the Switch though is that I mean, besides the the light model or the mini or whatever, uh, they all come with two controllers, right? So if you have two kids, out of the box, you just need to get one game and then you're good, right? Get them, get them Smash Brothers, get them uh, Mario Kart, and then boom, there you go, thousands of out. And it even comes with the little toppers on there. You, I mean, they're not great to play for long periods of time, but for kids, it's the, it's the right size. Like, it fits right in their hand. Um, and then if they, if they don't do that, that means they'd have to sell you more hardware or accessories, at the point of sale to say, well, it only comes with the one controller as the thing. And then even with that, using it portably, like if the kids are in the car or whatever, or they're out, you're out at the park and you're like, oh, hey, play. They both can't play at the this? same time without without detaching the controllers. But about it, would, it would definitely clam- save them money for sure. A, clam- a clamshell switch, dual screen. I, it's possible. It's I possible. Just don't know what, I just don't, I mean, what would they, what would they, I, I can't. You can't figure out Nintendo. Every time you think they're gonna zig, they're gonna, they're gonna do right? something weird. Yeah, yeah, for sure. They're gonna do something weird <laughs> for sure. All right, uh, all right. So let's definitely switch gears now. And mm-hmm. Talk about a game that we will be able to play at PAX that just got announced, and that is a side-scrolling beat 'em up game, uh, Toxic Crusaders. Oh, right from the Toxic oh. Avengers <laughs> uh, yes. franchise. Yes, coming now- out. It's supposed to be what I'm just saying. It's supposed to be coming out PS5, PS4, Xbox Series X, X mm. One, Switch, PC, and that's it. Yeah, the Steam Deck. The Steam there Deck. There you go, Steam Deck. Yeah, <laughs> Steam Deck. This is TMNT, but with the Toxic Avengers theme, and I'm here for it. Correct. I'm here for it, Dan. Correct. It's amazing. Publisher and developer uh, Retro Wave. Uh, yeah, yeah. They announced this. Mm-hmm. It's coming, but it's going to be playable at PAX. So that's that's the part I'm. We we have to go by and see it. I'm so happy that they're going to be at PAX. Um, I don't know if you ever watched the cartoon back in the day because they they did I have watched, a children's cartoon of Toxie the Toxic I watched, Avenger. I watched the cartoon. Uh-huh. I watched the movies and sure. I have the NES game. The I have the NES game and the Genesis game. The okay. two games that came out right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Genesis. Yeah, I met I met I met Lloyd Kaufman. He was at um he was at one of the New York Comic Cons. Super nice guy. Got a got a lovely picture with him. Uh, he is a uh, he is a uh, class act through and through. For anyone who doesn't know, Troma is the company that makes all these schlock movies throughout the eighties and nineties, maybe into the early two thousands. I don't know how much they necessarily do now, but one of their creations was Toxie, the Toxic Avenger, which was a dude that fell into some radioactive waste and then turned into this like hideous beast. And uh, he he carries around a mop and he uh, fights crime. Right. That's that's essentially what it is. But they're taking this, turning it into a beat 'em up, uh, and it, it looks like it has the same style as the TMNT uh, Shredder's Revenge style game with, oh, the, with the pixel art, yeah, sixteen bit totally style. Uh, it looks it looks very good. Yeah, I'm I'm so, I'm super hyped for it. I'm super excited. I definitely want to. I definitely want to pick this up. Mm-hmm. Too bad it's not coming out on the Stadia. I mean, many, dig, many Stadia digs. No, I'm sorry, I just can't. Wait. Uh, you could you could you could dig on Stadia all you want. I am done defending them at this point. Uh. So we don't really talk about this that much, uh, but you know Nintendo, the, for the Nintendo you know Switch Online service, mm-hmm. def- they they put out some more games just for the basic service, right? NES, SNES, uh, 
and yeah, NES, yeah, the NES and the, and uh, the, the Super Nintendo, mm-hmm. and then you have the expansion pack for the N sixty four Genesis, and now uh, Game GBA. Boy and yeah, GBA Game Boy, regular Game Boy, Game Boy Color in GBA. Yep, yep, yep. So, so they put out Kirby's Dreamland Two Data East nineteen ninety one Game Boy game, right? Burger Time Deluxe, mm-hmm. which is awesome. Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I love that game. I love Burger Time game. The Burger Time game was NES and the Game Boy game. By the way. Sure, sure. Uh, I, this was a this was this was like a a game that kind of took people by <clears throat> surprise. The side pocket, right? The the pool game, which Uh-oh. apparently was a very good pool game that people liked. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's interesting. I I um, uh, I it's just it's it's relevant to side pocket. But uh, I was watching the uh, one of the recent episodes of uh, Game Grumps, and they did the Minnesota Fats, uh, pinball game, which I don't know if you ever saw the movie The Hustler. It's no. Minnesota Fats is the one that um, uh, what's his name goes up against, and uh, uh is a great. Great black and white movie centers around pool and all that, but the Minnesota Fats game is just like side uh, side pocket. Uh, they use that and they slap Minnesota Fats on it, and they like they put a narrative behind it. This weird thing about like the mob coming after you or whatever to like put it around it, but it's essentially side pocket. Because I was I was watching it in this in this uh, trailer, I'm like that looks incredibly a lot like Minnesota Fats uh, uh, pool, and it is because it's made by Data East. They're they're both made by Data East. So they just they just kind of pushed it along and then put a license on it, put it on Sega CD and Saturn too, I yeah. think. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no, no. Listen, it looks like a cool pool game. Yeah. I think I have this in the collection. I yeah. never played it though. Yeah. Cool. I don't. I don't think it's a very game. expensive game necessarily. I, you no, know. you could probably get it for like five bucks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I think this may be the first pool title that's on Nintendo Switch online on the online service. It's definitely the first. <laughs> but is it the first? pool game that was on Nintendo consoles at the time. Uh well Did they have any other pool games. NES had like Lunar Pool and there, I think there there, oh, there was they? okay. Yeah, there there was a number of pool games on Nintendo. I don't know if they were good or not, but they were there. Uh for sure. Yeah. And then, then they had an arcade arcade shoot 'em up by Namco, uh, which I can never pronounce the name of this game correctly. Uh, I always called it when I signed it. Ahead. I remember seeing this game back in the day, but I, I remember calling it uh uh, uh, Z verse, X verse. I never, I, I had no idea how to pronounce this game. It's either Zevius or Zevius. I'm not sure what the I correct ne- pronunciation I n- is. Yeah, I never even heard that when I was a kid. I remember, I remember looking at this game. I never got it. I mm-hmm. never got it. But I remember looking at this game. I don't know what store we're in. I mean, me and my dad went to the store and I was looking at different games. And I, I seen that game. And I remember the guy over the counter was like, "Yeah, that's like uh, X versus this." Is. And I was like, "Okay, all right, that's an option. That's an option for me. It could have been Funko Land. I don't know okay. if Funko Land was around at that time. Mm-hmm. It probably was Funko Land. Mm-hmm. Now that I think about it, mm-hmm. or either that or the Wiz. Yes, I know. I took it back. I oh, know. nobody, nobody beats them. Nobody beats well, them. That somebody, was only an East well, Coast pop- thing, though. People on the West, they on the West Coast, but they, they they don't they don't know about nobody beats the Wiz." Funny enough, the Wiz is still around. PC Richards owns the name, and they have the Wiz uh, stores down south. Oh, they do. Oh, they're keeping it yeah. alive. Wow. Well, well, I haven't listen. I haven't kept up with it. I mean, right, back right. In the day, I know, you know, they could have closed it down in the last ten years, but I know. I mean, maybe the yeah. Wiz did. The Wiz, the Wiz did sort of live on in their most popular stores down south, just mm-hmm. with the PC Richards, you know, sort of layout. Right, right. Uh, all right. Lastly, rest in peace. Sad, missed. You will be missed, and that is 3DS and the Wii U eShop. They will be yeah. closing beginning March 27th. Yeah, uh, permanently become unable to make any purchases through the Nintendo 3DS or yep. Wii U console eShops. I think you can still download games if you purchased them already. Mm-hmm. I believe you could still download them. Don't quote me on that, but it's still a sad thing to see it go, and hopefully. They will make do. They will make better with, uh, you know, the Nintendo Switch eShop, right? Or or the next eShop that we have with the next console that comes out, right? For sure, yeah. Uh, now, I don't know about you, but how many times can one man buy Super Mario Brothers? How many? Times? Every time. Every time. 
every time. Why? Why do these purchases get gated and locked to the platform? What's different between the Switch version of Mario Brothers versus the Wii U version of the Mario Brothers versus the Wii version or the 3DS version? There is none. They're all emulated. They all use an emulator. Why? Why can't my purchase carry forward? Now I'm not just dogging Nintendo. Everybody does it. I remember Everybody back. Does it. Remember back with my old Verizon phone, and I had a bunch of purchases on it. Uh, it was a flip phone. It wasn't a razor. It was pre razor. I had a, had a flip phone. I had some games on there and some ringtones. I bought ringtones, yes. And I wanted to carry them forward. And they're like, "Oh, we can't, we can't do that." I'm like, I, "I purchased them. You have records of my purchase. Like, why can't I re-download these? Why can't I get them on the like? Well, our system's not equipped. To, it's it is crazy. I want you to buy the stuff all over again. Terrible. I hate it." Well, that's, I think that's, we're done. You know. I think we're done though with that, right? Because they did say, "Are we?" I could have sworn. I think we are. I think they did say, you know, purchases would carry over or something like that. There was there was something because people talked about that when. It was, you know, the, the Switch online service. I think this is before, uh, you know, we had the Nintendo online service with the, mm. you know, the games with their monthly subscription. Right. It was, you know, just buying games online, the storefront, the eShop, like, sucked. And, and why don't we have the virtual console? Like, what's the difference? And I think they said, you know, going forward, you would be able to do that. And it would be a travesty if they didn't. I think we I think I think you should be able to do that going forward. For sure, for sure. And I have to I have to give credit. I have to give credit to Xbox here. They have done a fantastic job with carrying oh, yeah. your purchases forward, the backwards compatibility, right? You can technically throw in any Xbox 360 game and you have a good chance of it being available to download. Like you get a you get the digital emulated updated version that will that will play, but you just pop your game disc in and that's how it verifies it, which I think is great. I, I think I wish I wish Sony would do more you know, of that. I definitely wish Nintendo would do more of that. Uh, you know what I would like? This is what I would like. Going mm-hmm. forward from everybody, from everybody. If you know how, you know, and then I, listen, I know I'm talking from sort of like a privileged standpoint. Go ahead. Like if I have the game, and I pop the game in, you verified that I own this game. Right. 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 Because I have the disc. I should be able to take the disc out and still play the game digitally. It should be on the digital console. Right. Right. Like, right. Like I have, like I'm popping God of War in my main, my main gaming room, which is right next to me. Right. Cause I have the console with the disc drive mm-hmm. and then go upstairs in the living room where I have, you know, sort of, the one without the disc drive, I should be able to just to download God of War because you already you know verify that I purchased the game. I own the disc, right? And you're you're logged in with your account on that system, and you know whatever right. else for sure. Yeah, I yeah. would love to. I would love. I would love to see. I would love to see that. Mm-hmm. Right? Because what if you have different consoles in different areas? Right. Right. You don't want to log. You don't. You don't. You, you know. You have a collection in your main home, or maybe not your main home, but you have already verified you have it, and then you go somewhere else. Maybe you're mm-hmm. going on a trip, and you want to take the the digital version, right? You want to take the digital console only. You yep, should be yep. able to play it. That's I, what I, I would like. To see. I hear you. I hear you. So, all right, Dave. That's it for the news. Mm-hmm. Not a lot of news this week, but a lot of excitement. And that's because that's right. we're going to PAX, baby. Yes. Super excited. Mm-hmm. It's gonna be. It's gonna be. It's I, gonna be a good year. It's gonna be a good year. No, it's gonna be a good year. We're going all four days, right? Mm-hmm. I'm excited to mm-hmm. see. We're gonna see some friends, friends yeah. of the show. Yeah. Right. Hopefully, you know, we'll see some good games. I think there are gonna be a lot of great games, like Toxic Crusader. Oh. Right. Toxic Crusaders mm-hmm. are gonna be there. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're gonna, the aforementioned we're gonna see... Straight Lights, uh, 30 Straight XDX, Lights. the sequel to 20 XDX, the Mega Man roguelike yeah. game. Very excited for that. Um, yeah. And I mean, you know, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing a lot of uh, coverage. Um, you can look forward to some exclusive stuff over on our YouTube channel. So, if you're if you're only subscribed to the uh, the audio portion, uh, take a look at our uh, video stuff because we have uh, we have full episodes up there now, and we'll have some exclusive pack stuff up there. We're we'll doing some articles, yeah. we we'll be writing Check. some stuff, we we'll talking to some Check. people. Check out social media. We're definitely going to be posting all of the stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. All right. oh, on Instagram, good. definitely mm-hmm. the Facebook and uh, you know the Twitter as they call it. <laughs> the, I don't know if they. I don't know if they pronounce it like that, but yes, they do call it yeah. the Twitter. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Uh, just like this like just just like the Target, right? You go to Oh, Target, of course. No, 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 no. Target is is Target is appropriate cuz it's a step yeah, up from there Walmart. <laughs> there you go. And you go to the, the Twitter, the Twitter. That's where you go. That's where you call right. it. Dan is Dan is bringing out his English side right now. Uh-huh. <laughs> 
Well, all right. Uh, that is episode 351 in the books, folks. And uh, we want to thank you guys for listening to the show, for liking, commenting, and doing all the good stuff that you guys do. If you want to interact with us, and we know that you do, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, and the PAX East show floor. If you see us, come say hi. And that is all at Rated G for Gamers or in Boston at the BCEC on the convention center floor. So please listen, like, rate, review, and subscribe. And as always, keep gaming. <laughs>